Greetings everyone, Slurgical here and welcome to Game Board Part 5, the Blue Fuzzy Biscuit Cafe Bar. The miniature toy soldiers are not included in the package. Congratulations on your Blue Fuzzy Biscuit Cafe Bar. You are now the proud owner of a galactic franchise. The first thing you need to do is to build it and uh, put everything that needs to be inside, paint it the corporate colors and you're good to go. To make it easier to paint, I'm just clipping on the 45 millimeter clips so it's I have a better handle and on holding and painting and manipulating the building while I paint. You don't really need to do that, but in my case, I really need to do that. It makes life much easier and I don't get paint everywhere like that. Okay, this is the riser for the 45 millimeter and this is the riser for the 32 millimeter. For the 28 millimeter, you don't need it. You just need the building. The power unit on the roof, you can get it from free pack one. As a primer today, I'm using Mod Podge. Now we're painting the building with the corporate color. And I know I said I wasn't gonna use sand before, but I'm not gonna be using sand on the top of the terrain. I'll be using it with mixing with the paint so it doesn't fly everywhere. So we just squirt in a little bit of the paint in there then squirt a little bit more until you get the right amount. Then you add the sand. I'm trying not to spill the sand everywhere like I usually do. I don't put too much, just enough so it's like a paste. A little bit like the same thing I did with the tea uh, leaves and the paint. Once the sand is done, you just mix it together and mix like a paste. And just like that, just zooming in so you see. I think I made a mistake by using a Mod Podge glossy version of it. I should have used the matte one because it makes the paint on the surface slide a little bit and it doesn't cover that well. I'm gonna have to try the different one. Let's talk about uh, the history of uh, the Blue Fuzzy. The owner of the chain is Renault Elmer Sante, like I mentioned in a previous video. And he's part of a mercenary group and the entire franchise was a front and a point of contact for their uh, mercenary activities. And their largest uh, client were the Rebel Alliance. The franchise was also used as a safe house to hide their clients or themselves in case of uh, an emergency. I have to put two coats because of the paint is uh, craft paint, so it doesn't really have a really good coverage and the surface I'm painting on is slippery, like I said, because I used a glossy primer. Now that the blue is all painted and uh, covering the entire uh, middle section, we're gonna move to the next uh, color. And the next color is the official corporate purple. And as you can see, the coverage is even worse with this color. If you guys have any uh, advices uh, or trick Hey, please feel free to leave a comment about it. It helps me, it helps other people, and uh, hopefully I won't be making that mistake again. While the first coat is uh, drying for the purple, I'm just painting the food dispenser and drink dispensers. I'm going to do a, a green, a lime green, as you can see there, a yellow, and uh, the other one's gonna be red. As no one can see, I made a mistake there. I put some, uh, some of the yellow went over the, the silver and made a big mess and it looks pretty terrible. I'm trying to fix it by pushing things around because the, the great part of the silver is slippery, but it didn't work. When the fingers are too thick and doesn't work, use a toothpick. I'm using a toothpick to scrape off a little bit of the paint. Then after that, I'm gonna use a Kleenex and uh, make it, uh, you know, just enough to fit in the space and then with the toothpick just scrape the rest off to fix the problem. It kind of worked, I still have to do some touch up with the silver because I scraped off some of the silver with it. Now moving on to the red, which has a really solid coverage. It worked really great with the red. I think moving forward, I'm gonna paint everything red. Red for everything, everywhere. Moving on to the brown, and the dogs are eating right now, so that's the background noise. So the piping is gonna be all brown, it's just uh, make it easier for now. 
Then uh, after the brown for the piping, we'll be doing the second coat of the purple. I'll show you how it looks like after, but I'm not going to let you go through the process. So aside from the purple, I'm pretty happy with the result. It was fun to paint. It was a bit challenging in some spots. And I'm just putting some of the miniature there just to show how it looks and how they fit with it. And again, <laughs> I'm pretty new at uh, painting miniature and a hobby. So my miniature are pretty uh, ugly to look at at this point. <laughs> Eventually, I'll get better at it. But for now, this is how I, I do things. And please, to help the channel, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, share, uh, comment. Those things really, really help with the overall uh, visibility of the channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, you can purchase this uh, Blue Fuzzy franchise at my store. Go and check it out. You know, the really great thing about all of this is that I love playing role-playing games and we played uh, Star Wars uh, from the West End game for years and years until we moved down to our own uh, homebrew rules. And all those storylines, all those characters, all those places that we created in our mind and now it, we can actually make them real with 3D printing, CAD design and, and this hobby is just out of this world. It has been so great. It's therapeutic, it's fun, and makes me want to play more, and I, it brings back so many, many good memories that uh, I thought they were lost for, for good. <laughs> every day, every time I make a piece of terrain, I think of one adventure or one misadventure, or many of them, and uh, amazing to me to be able to share all those things with you guys and with my friends who are sure they're watching this and going like wow i remember that